Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another Electronics and More video. In this video, I'm going to take the keyless remote, which I repaired in a previous video by soldering these new switches in place, and I want to apply a very thick clear coating on both sides of this board. Now this is an older remote, and it's very difficult to replace as well as very expensive. So what I want to do is make sure this has a very good coating on every part of this board with the exception of the switches. Now if this ever got wet and water found its way into the switches it's no big deal. Once it dries out it should work fine and when the switches become faulty again over time I can easily desolder them and install new switches. This is what the back of the board looks like. Now I did take my digital multimeter to test some of these diodes and resistors and it's very easy to probe each side to get a reading so I know there's very little if any clear coat on this board on the soldered areas so if this did fall in the water especially salt water with the battery applied more than likely it would short out and it would be gone forever the back side I'm going to pop out the battery tape up the inside of this connection on the positive as well as the sides and underneath. Let's pop this out. Right over here, this connection is also going to be taped off. So what I'm going to do is apply two layers of a conformal coating. In this case, it's going to be urethane. It's going to be applied in two full wet coats on both sides. The first thing I want to do is make sure this board is very clean. To do that, I'm going to take a toothbrush along with some 91% isopropyl alcohol, go over both sides of the board, and then once it's allowed to air dry, I'm going to take the masking tape and cover up each one of the switches as well as the areas mentioned on the battery holder. Okay. back side okay okay I'm going to allow this to dry a few minutes once it's fully dry I'll apply the masking tape. Okay, here's the board. It's all covered up. You can see each one of the switches. And on the back side, the battery holder. So what I'm going to do now is show you what I'm going to be using to clear coat this board. Now I'm going to be applying two coats of urethane to the keyless remote using this ultra compact dual action airbrush unit. Now years ago I used to have a Pache with a very large compressor there's no longer any need for that. Everything is inside this little housing. Over here is a pressure control. Full clockwise is maximum pressure around 25 PSI. And when you unscrew this, let it out a little bit, it's going to make the pressure become less. Over here is a moisture trap to prevent water from mixing with the paint and ending up on the surface. This is the urethane. It has an activator inside of it. And the housing is solid brass with chrome. Now it's dual action. When you push the lever in, that's the air on and off. When you push the button in and pull back on the lever slightly, you're going to increase the amount of paint being sucked out of that bottle. That's the maximum amount of paint and there is no paint. This disassembles really easy for cleaning which I like. Unscrew this, the pin comes out. There's a spring in here as well. And this is the exact same unit that I use for automotive paint touch-ups such as doing trim on a vehicle and repairing paint damage. If you look at this image right here 
you're going to see some damage to my front bumper and what the damage looks like after it's been repaired. Just like in all my other videos, if you're interested in this unit, a link has been placed in the video description area. The power supply uses this AC adapter which takes the voltage to 12 volts at one and a half amps. Let me plug it in and show you how it works. As you just saw when I plugged it in, the pump came on to build up pressure and then the pressure switch turned off the unit. So when I take this right here, and if I only let the air out, you're going to hear this turn on. If I want the paint to come out, push down. Okay, let me clear coat the board. I'm going to apply the two heavy coats. After each coat, I'm going to wait about five minutes for the urethane to tack up. Apply another heavy coat. Once it sets up, I'm going to flip the board over and repeat the process on the opposite side. Okay, here goes the second coat. And that should be coated enough. Okay, let me see if this set up enough. Yep, no longer tacky. Now I'm going to flip it over. Came out beautiful. Let's flip it over this way now and coat the rear side of the board. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'll finish. I'm gonna let it set up, remove the tape, and give you a close-up look. Here's the completed board. Nice thick coating. And in the event if I drop this in the water, it should be just fine once the switches are allowed to dry out. Cleaning out the airbrush is very easy. A little bit of acetone inside the bottle. And then I allow it to run for a little bit. When it's empty, take apart the bottle, clean it. And then I could disassemble the entire thing right here. pull out the needle and wipe that down with acetone as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.